Hi, so this will be a little bit longer video about Sim 6 robotic arm, some basic info. So it's a 6 axis robotic arm, uses VLDC gimbal motors and uh, planetary gear reductions ranging from 5 to 1 to 9 to 1. Uh, it, is, it weighs around 5 kilos and it is fully tripping. So by using uh, VLDC motors and those small gear reductions, we, we technically have uh, quasi direct drives. Some capabilities of quasi direct drives are high back, dri back drivability robust force control, selectable impedance, and uh, simplified mechanical structure. In the next few minutes, I'll uh, demonstrate uh, software for this robotic arm, um, how to program it and how to set it up. Uh, so in this clip, you can see the arm doing some complex uh, trajectories. Uh, these trajectories were made by what they call the freehand mode, where uh, all motors of the robot arm are disabled, and then you can drag them by your hand and uh, record them and then replay them whenever you want. Okay, so now the startup procedure of the robotic arm. First, I need to enable the e-stop that brings 24 volts to the uh, BLDC drivers, as you can see by red LEDs shining. Then I place the robotic arm in the uh, homing position, that is the position in this clip. And uh, after that, connect 5 volts through USB to the TNC board and to the uh, old BLDC drivers, and that homes the robotic arm. So, this is GUI for the robotic arm. On the right side, we can see uh, two positions so X, Y, Z coordinates, Euler angles, uh, enable button, clear error, and uh, on the bottom, we can see plots for current at the moment, but we can also plot positions. Uh, speeds or temperatures of each individual motor. On the left side we have a jog panel. Here uh, we can jog uh, each individual motor and uh, we can see his, its uh, radians, uh, degrees or encoder ticks and also we can see current through each motor and its temperature. Um, now we can also adjust uh, acceleration and speed of each motor through the sliders or in the middle or by uh, using some uh, presets like slow slow mode, fast mode or default mode. Uh, here we have a teach panel where we can change mode of operation of body arm. Now it is in uh, disable mode where each motor is disabled as you can see and it can move fully. Now it's in gravity compensation mode where uh, it, it will keep its position as you can see. And then we can also place it in position hold mode where it will hold its position. Now I will place it in a disable mode so I can move it freely and uh, I will demonstrate uh, one of modes of operation and that is uh, the freehand recording. So as you can see, press start record and I move the robotic arm and then stop record. Now show recording and you can see the positions of each joint and after that execute the recording and it will go to start the position and after that execute the movement. So here you can see one more example of freehand recording mode. So robot, robot arm is now disabled and uh, I press start record and now I will position it here to grab this glass and move it to some other position and after that I'll press stop record and uh, place the robot arm in gravity compensation mode to keep its position and then execute the recording and it will uh, do everything I did. So we are back in our GUI now and I'll show you another way of programming this robotic arm. So we can type code in this gray square in the middle or by uh, clicking the buttons on the left side. So our arm is disabled now and we can drag it to any position we want and by pressing one of these three modes underneath the delay we record that position. Uh, now 
I press uh, loop and uh, by clicking execute it will loop through these commands and uh, perform these trajectories indefinitely. Now um, we can also stop the trajectory or pause it and then if we pause it and click execute again it will uh, stop uh, start where it uh, was paused. Now you can see I can change the compliance of this robotic arm. At the moment it is uh, stiff and uh, now by sliding the slider to the right side it is more compliant and by sliding it more it will be uh, even more compliant as you can see. Now uh, this whole project is open source and uh, you can find more information in the description but uh, at the moment I still, I'm still writing the uh, documentation and uh, finishing up some code for this uh, robot but everything will be on github or some other page like hack day or I don't know maybe docs so yeah thanks for watching and bye